TV One TV for Life. News first, face to face with Shalom Benedict. Hello there, very good evening. Welcome to another edition of Face to Face, uh, where we keep you up to date with the latest of political unfoldings here in Sri Lanka. Much happening today as well. Uh, but before we get into all of that, uh, I'd like to introduce our guest uh, this evening, Mr. Das Jai Sekara, former General Secretary uh, of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. Uh, a very good evening, Mr. Jai Sekara, and welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, so, starting off today, um, quite a uh, startling decision. Now, people today learned that they have to pay each, every citizen in Sri Lanka has to pay 7,000 rupees each, all for the debt that has been accrued by Sri Lankan Airlines. Now, this, why you might think, uh, this is all because uh, the government now has decided to absorb 500 million US dollars of the debt in Sri Lankan Airlines uh, by the government, uh, which means the Treasury, which means your tax money. So guess what? You are now paying for the debt of Sri Lankan Airlines. Now, Mr. Jayasekara, you were quite critical about uh, the matter surrounding Sri Lankan Airlines because we know that Sri Lankan Airlines is now bankrupt because of the inept decisions that were taken by those in power by putting their relatives and friends into uh, chairmanship positions and then stealing from Sri Lankan Airlines, stealing through corruption. And these, all of these matters have been proved. So what do you think they're really trying to do now? Now they wanted to sell anyhow. Hmm. Right? They just want to sell it. They wanted to sell it. They don't care how it happens. Yeah. They don't care how much it costs the government or the people. Yes. Now, what has happened here is actually I have gone through all the uh, details about it uh, when I'm, I'm in the COP committee. Mm -hmm. So, actually, the burden is the leasing of, uh, you know, aircrafts. Okay. That is that is the biggest problem. Right. 95% of their, you know, uh, income. income are going for the lease uh, of the aircraft. Uh, aircraft. Mm. But you you know normally when you uh, compare with uh, uh, the vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, small car, mm -hmm. when you lease it, mm -hmm. end of the lease you get the car mm -hmm. to your hand. Mm -hmm. Now here, what has happened? You are leasing, you are uh, putting the money to lease every aircraft, mm -hmm. but it will never come to you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It is it is a burden. Mm -hmm. So actually, we don't have any plane now. Mm -hmm. Flights we don't have because everyone is on lease. Mm -hmm. Lease basic. Uh, the other thing is, actually, that lease amount is uh, exorbitant. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. You can't believe that that much of a. So that is that is not the market value. That is not the market value. That is that is why we are always saying that, uh, as you said, they uh, got uh, do uh, get got bad decisions, bad management. Hmm. As you said, all the relatives were there. They hmm. steal the, the the whole uh, Sri Lankan ally. Hmm. Uh, finish the reputation, hmm. right? Now no one is coming, and hmm. in the meantime, in the uh, the minister himself is saying that uh, you know we have a small amount of uh, flights that we have. Hmm. If you want to go, you go, go in another ally, in another ally hmm. right? So that is this kind of a ministers who are handling these kind of you know institutions. Hmm. What you can do is hmm. you have to sit with all these officials, hmm. sit with all the all the pilots, sit with all the you know engineers. Hmm. Talk to them and try to, you know, build this up. That is what we want to do. No, but do. Hmm. But uh, not by, by not doing that, hmm. he just uh, saying that uh, you see now. Now I can't sell this, no, hmm. because of your issues, hmm. because of your strikes. Hmm. I can't sell this. Hmm. So selling is his main thing. Hmm. Uh, other than the develop this uh, national carrier. So, but but it's it's, <coughs> it's kind of funny because uh, the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna came in <coughs> on this promise that they will not privatize anything. There was uh, a lot of criticism uh, for the sale of the Hambantota port. There was a lot of criticism uh, for the West Container Terminal. There was a lot of criticism uh, for various other uh, sale of national assets, uh, if you will, by the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna. And their promise, correct me if I'm wrong, I think you'd know mm. because you were on the campaign trail, was that they will take back the Hambantota airport, that they will take back uh, all of, or they will reverse 
the decisions that were taken to uh, well, privatize uh, certain entities um, under the previous regime. But uh, Nimal Siripala de Silva was also, he was actually with you uh, in the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, but campaigning for the Sri Lanka Podhajana Peramuna. So, uh, what really happened there? What, what do you think? Yeah, now, now they have changed their leader. No? Hmm. So, Gotabi is chased away by the people. Hmm. And after that, uh, there is a person came to sell all these. Hmm. Uh, Rajapaksas and their, you know, uh, people, they, they, they appointed uh, Ryan Likram Singh and now Ryan Likram Singh is selling all these. Hmm. So, that is not the Rajapaksas hmm. uh, selling these, hmm. but they allow these uh, institutions to be sold, you know, sold out hmm. uh, as quickly as possible. So, moving on, um, Basil Rajapaksa hmm. is back in Sri Lanka. Uh, whether he's uh, back in Sri Lanka on holiday or on official uh, matters, uh, we don't know yet. But he got a grand welcome at the airport. Um, what do you think his arrival to Sri Lanka would uh, really mean? Would it have really an impact on, on, yeah, on the elections? Will, nothing will impact on Sri Lanka hmm. by his uh, coming back to, <laughs> back to the country. But I think uh, politically they are trying to do something because um, Pojana Piramuni is in a very dire situation. Hmm. So they can't go to the village level and, you know, start up their campaign. Mm. And in the meantime, they don't have a leader to contest for the uh, presidential election. Mm. Uh, and that is that is a problem because whether they are going to support Ryan Likram Singh or whether they are going to uh, have a have their own uh, candidate mm. for the uh, presidential election, that is what they, they are now in a, you know, it is a dilemma. Mm. So now... Uh, as soon as Basil Rajapaksa came in, they will have a meeting with uh, all all the stakeholders and uh, try to uh, do uh, one of those options that they have. Hmm. One is uh, to support Ryan Lee and the other one is uh, put one candidate from their uh, party. Hmm. <coughs> so Basil Rajapaksa, you said, would not have an impact <coughs> in the country, but uh, don't forget. Basil Rajapaksa was uh, the person for whom the entire constitution of Sri Lanka was changed just to accommodate him in mm. parliament. And once he came into parliament and left parliament, uh, that uh, amendment was changed again. Mm. Uh, so Basil Rajapaksa <laughs> has had a certain impact in Sri Lanka and that's the reason why you, um, whether or not that's a good impact or a bad impact, that's for people to judge. But that's the reason why I pose that question to you. Um, so moving forward really, um, the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, uh, the party that you say you're still a part of, however, the leader has seen it fit to suspend you, uh, and you have challenged that decision in court right now. So, with your policies in the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, and, uh, well, of course, the SLPP aligning with each other, uh, the SLPPers, or at least a majority of them, a majority who, who I've spoken to and who are in the limelight right now, are very much in favour of Ranil Vikramasinghe her contesting uh, and uh, supporting him at the upcoming elections. Um, is, is, is much the same with the other members of the SLFP? <laughs> I, I can't actually tell you who are the real SLFPers and who are not hmm. now, the, 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 uh, now because uh, there are nine MPs who got into the, you know, uh, uh, government without, you know, permission. The, the, the permission from the But they're party. still in the party. They are still in the party. They have not I, been sacked. Yeah, they, they, they haven't been sacked. Because so maybe your mistake was not aligning, not, with, the not aligning with the government. And That's your mistake. Getting, yeah, getting, uh, getting a portfolio. Okay. But uh, actually, I, I uh, still think that uh, the party got a uh, right decision. Mm. And I I uh, am always feeling that without getting a portfolio, being in the opposition is a good thing because we appointed, we, we uh, elected... And we supported uh, uh, Godabi Rajapaksas to uh, be the president of this country. Mm. And we uh, supported that government. Mm. And uh, as you all know that uh, what happened in 2022, uh, May, uh, we all, uh, you know, resigned from all these portfolios. Mm. I didn't go back mm. uh, 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 against that decision. So... Uh, still, I think that is the right decision. I don't know what will happen to SLFP because SLFP now nine uh, MPs are with the government, mm. and in the meantime, our leader is going to form a uh, alliance. Mm. Uh, in that alliance, there is no uh, leader to contest for the 
presidential election. Hmm. So ultimately what they have to do is uh, to put a candidate from uh, that alliance or to support Ryan Lukam Singh hmm. because majority of the people hmm. uh, who are coming to that alliance are uh, government, uh, you know, ministers. Okay. Right. Okay. So government ministers and the and some MPs are uh, in the opposition uh, when they when they you know resigned from all the portfolios they came to uh, the opposition. Now all these MPs uh, don't have a party to contest. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that is why they are trying to have the alliance. Mm -hmm. And I don't know who, what is going to happen. Uh, the other parties actually, uh, Communist Party, Samasamaja Party and uh, Mahajana Party and uh, Honorable Dallas faction and uh, Honorable Roshan Singh's faction, me and all kind of uh, people are mm. still not, you know, reluctant to go and uh, join with that alliance because mm. that alliance we don't know what, what they are going to do. Mm. So there is a problem like that. Mm. Uh, so SLAP, I don't know what is they are going to do because uh, there is no real uh, target for them now. Mm. Right? They are vulnerable. All mm. the all the organizers are going here and there. Mm. They went and uh, you know joined Said Premadasa. Mm. Right? Uh, there are there are so many problems. In the meantime, SLAPs are going to some people are going to NPP. Mm. Some are going to there are members of the SLPP LG. going to the NPP also. Yeah, that is that is the problem because because actually I uh, wanted to clarify here because uh, there is no leader for centre left parties. Mm. That is the biggest problem mm. because now we have to support one of two uh, leaders from the you know uh, centre right centre centre cent right or oh, <laughs> further the, right further right. <laughs> <laughs> So one is Ryan Lee Singh, the other is Sajid uh, uh, Sahid So there is no uh, centre left uh, leader here. Hmm. That is done by actually Rajapaksas because we appointed, we elected uh, uh, Gotabe Rajapaksa uh, for centre left uh, leader, hmm. right? Now he has chased away. After that, what happened was Rajapaksas gave the uh, gave their support to Ryan Lee Singh. Hmm. Uh, so now he's is he's a right wing uh, leader. Mm. So now there is no any other option mm. to all these SLPP mm. uh, uh, people because they think they can't support Ryan Lee Singh either uh, Said Premadasa. Okay. okay, they are going to NPP because they don't they don't want to support uh, right wing uh, leaders. Okay, okay. So that is why they are going to NPP, mm. right? So that is what has happened. So, uh, moving forward now, there are there are those who support the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. There are ardent supporters of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. Then, uh, most of them believe that all of those values uh, in the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, well, at least I, I believe or I'd like to think the good values of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party uh, were taken to the SLPP. They believed it. Um, but where are those policies now? Only the problem is uh, now... There are parties now, no policies. Hmm. That is what has happened. This is going with the wind. Going with the wind. But 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 do you make that statement in general for all parties? Yeah. There's not parties. a single party in Sri Lanka that has stable policies. No, the, uh, stable policies because uh, now even see Sajid Premadasa. Hmm. He never says that he is a right wing fellow. Hmm. Right. He is a, he's not saying that he is right wing leader. Hmm. He says he's. Uh, uh, economic theory, social market economic theory. Hmm. So he is not the <laughs> social market eco uh, market economy. Hmm. He is social market economy. Hmm. A little bit of this, a little it, bit of that. Yeah, right. Hmm. So, so it is. It is also another, you know, uh, centre left uh, kind of a uh, theory hmm. that hmm. they have uh, hmm. built up. So that is why I told you. Uh, even even uh, Ryan Lee Singh is also saying the same thing. Hmm. Hmm. He said in his, I think, uh, in, as his party leader, he said, we are for social market economy, hmm. right? Hmm. So all the other uh, left parties are also saying the same thing. Hmm. So because now you can't, you know, categorize these are center left, these are right wing uh, parties. Hmm. All are came to one conclusion. Hmm that um, you have to have a social market economy kind of a, a you know economic System. theory for mm. uh, the whole uh, 
uh, party. So that is what has happened. <laughs> hmm. So, so for a, a supporter of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party uh, <clears throat> or the SLFP or the core principles, uh, since you yourself are from the Sri Lanka Freedom Party, then supported the SLPP, where do they go now? Mm, I don't know because uh, no one, no one has a proper plan. Hmm. That is what I can see because. Hmm. Uh, we can see it in 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 the future uh, when when elections come in, mm. and uh, that is the problem uh, uh, in our country, because we have policies presenting into uh, in a in an election, uh, presidential ele election or uh, general election, but it doesn't happen. Mm. They are doing something rather, you know. Uh, uh, the the things that they have promised hmm. are not going to uh, have have not done in hmm. the fa past so many years. Yes. So now is also the uh, same because it is now very critical situation. Hmm. We have the uh, you know economy is in a very uh, critical uh, uh, juncture. Uh, yeah, juncture. Hmm. So that is why I always say every party must get together always my my thinking is like that because always we all must get together and have a proper plan for another 25 years time hmm. whatever said and done, what, what are you going to do the even a even a small framework hmm. right without that how can you run this country because country is not at that uh, 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 good, good. Uh, uh, but, 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 then, but then the Sri Lanka Podhujana <coughs> was given that mandate. Two thirds in parliament, never before under the 1978 constitution, has a single party come into power, or at least an alliance that contested together under the same ticket. No party has come into power at an election with a two thirds majority. Subsequently, there have been instances where they take in a few from the opposites uh, from across the island and make that two thirds. But never before has a party come into power with two thirds majority and they messed things up for the country right royally. So if there is consensus within the party like that and, and, and we can't really have a plan or do something good for the country, how can you say that parties should get together? Do you think that that will ever happen? Yeah, because that legitimacy has gone now, hmm. as, we dis um, as, as you said two-thirds majority hmm. that is given hmm. after 2022 20, May it has gone hmm. no legitimacy that is why that is why we always say as parties we must get together and have a proper plan hmm. you know uh, everyone can you know come together and you know discuss the economy what kind of a uh, policies that we are mm. going to do in, but, in, but, in, but, in future. Jai Sikara, you're, you're, you're thinking very uh, positively, of course, which is good. But when you say the parties must come together and come to a consensus, I, I don't think it's really even possible for a party mm. to come together and decide on who their leader is. Because the next leader is appointed by the leader who is sitting right now. So, don't you think that should this be fixed is, first? This, this is not a problem of a leader. I am talking about without, you know, uh, 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 your positions. Hmm. If you come together, that is what we 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 decided and we we framed a, a framework for hmm. that. Hmm. When when we have all the troubles, hmm. that is how uh, uh, Ranil Wickremesinghe came and have discussions with us. Hmm. Right, we uh, thirty five members came, uh, fifty odd members came uh, out from the government and uh, came to opposition, hmm. and we all got together and decide we must have a you know a proper plan. Hmm. After that, we decide who are, who are going to lead the country. Hmm. Hmm. But now it, it has gone now because now hmm. already uh, Ryan Lickwinsky has been uh, appointed hmm. and he is also trying his best to actually, uh, he has so many times he has said that get together, come and support me, come and support me. But there is no uh, proper, uh, proper plan. Hmm. Proper plan for him. Uh, this, uh, you know, he is asking to come and support. But no but, plan. But, yeah, but, but so he's asking. He's yeah, asking the MPs support, to support him. Yeah, yeah support not him. His not, plan. not his plan. That is okay. a problem. So that is why I always say, don't say this. Have a have a uh, proper system in parliament. Th hmm. That is the that is the best thing because if you can have a uh, uh, system place in uh, parliament, parliamentary committee or something like that. Hmm. Ask all the uh, you know uh, the party leaders to come, hmm. and in the meantime, uh, party members also can come, hmm. MPs can come, hmm. and have a proper uh, mechanism hmm. to develop a proper system 
by getting all the parties uh, consent hmm. that is that is that is what i'm uh, always asking hmm. now what he is saying the president is saying support me come and support me that is that is what he is asking hmm. what i am asking is not to support him hmm. but to have a proper plan for the future of hmm. sri lanka hmm. so that is not happening hmm. no one is going to do that so moving forward because we're in the final few minutes of the show um, what is uh, the role that Dayasiri Jayasekhar, the politician, is playing right now in, you know, getting things together and, of course, preparing for the presidential election. Uh, now, actually, we are having some discussions with all the uh, opposition parties. Mm -hmm. um, now, actually, uh, before I leave the country, I had some meetings with, uh, you know, uh, Communist Party, Samasamaj Party, Mahajana Party and uh, Dallas fractions and uh, Roshana Singhas faction and all kind of other parties together. Hmm. And in the meantime, I have, uh, uh, there are 18 parties who got together and asked me to come and uh, give them the leadership hmm. and now uh, we are doing that as well. And uh, we have uh, had a chat uh, with uh, Honorable Champikaranoka as well. Hmm. There are so many uh, other parties who are not uh, participating, uh, uh, representing parliament. Hmm. So. Actually, as I told you, there is, there should be, a, there, there is a huge, uh, you know, uh, uh, opposite, uh, uh, the place for uh, centre-left uh, political There's a vacuum. Theory, vacuum, mm -hmm. right. But we, we are trying to do that first. Mm -hmm. And after that, we can think how are we going to uh, work it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this uh, period of time, that is what we are doing. So, you, you, would, it, would it be right for me to say that you are looking for a leader to put in as a contestant for the presidential election? Not the leader. Actually, we must have a proper, you know, plan for that. Hmm. After that, we can decide who, are, who, who is going to uh, contest as a presidential hmm. candidate. Hmm. But before that, if we can uh, get together and, you know, uh, agree hmm. uh, for some policies, hmm. these are the policies that we are going to, you hmm. know, uh, do in the future and after that in that uh, you know uh, uh, parties or uh, persons we can decide mm. who is the person who is uh, more popular mm. and uh, you know pragmatic mm. and you know visionary leader mm. who can uh, come forward as a uh, presidential candidate. So uh, you said there's mm. a vacuum in the center left uh, for leadership. Mm. Uh, the JVP was known as a far left party. Mm. Now the NPP is leaning more center. So they're now a center left mm. party. So mm. how are you considering, uh, you know, looking <coughs> into the policies and, and the plan at least of Andhra Kumar Desanayake from the NPP as well? Um, yeah, because <coughs> I, as I told you, because of the vacuum mm. that in the political arena mm. uh, in this country, NPP is coming as as we uh, discussed. They are far left uh, party, but now they are coming to center left, uh, center left uh, party. So that is why I always say that we must discuss with uh, NPP as well. What are the what are the policies that they are going to do? Mm. Not only that you you are going to. Um, catch all the you know thieves. corrupt lead, leaders, thieves, mm. and put them into jail. Mm. Right? That is the, those are very small things that you can do. Mm. But what I am asking is, after that, how are you going to you know uh, 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 pay our debt? Mm. What is what is what is what are you going to do uh, for the uh, economic revival? How are we going to uh, take this uh, forward? Mm. Mm. Those are the things uh, are more valuable. Mm. But the people are fed up with these political parties, mm. fed up with all these political leaders. Mm. So that is why they are thinking, no, we'll, we'll give them a chance, mm. see mm. what will happen. Mm. So that is what we have done earlier as well, because when we uh, elect, elected Godabe Rajapaksa, mm. they always say, uh, they all said that uh, there are so many leaders, we should uh, bring a, a leader yeah without, without without politics but you supported so, them as well <laughs> no no no, 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 I, I, no, no I, I didn't support I, I didn't i didn't un uh, propose that mm. but ultimately what has happened you have
had to support. You, we had to support uh, <laughs> because SLP di- didn't have a leader <laughs> to put in as a you know um, uh, presidential candidate. candidate. Mm. So that is what we had, we okay, had to okay. do. So what my thinking is actually, people should understand giving a power, testing people, testing leaders, testing parties is not going to work mm. ultimately mm. because. Now we tested uh, Gotabaya Rajapaksa in two years' time. Uh, two years' time. So, but 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 we, we but, chased away. But I think I think just just a quick <coughs> answer from you because we're in the final few minutes. Uh, if you try something out and it doesn't work, they just destroy you. Isn't it right to fail them and move on to the next? Isn't that uh, you know the <coughs> circle of life? Yeah, but. but but you can you can do the testing second time that is what i'm saying ah so once once, <laughs> once tested once fail tested. Yeah. then out no not not out <laughs> not out we have to think uh, uh, very wisely because hmm. same thing will happen again we don't know hmm. hmm. you have right? to be a bit careful yeah. be, be a bit careful and, and and be a bit more insistent <clears throat> be a bit more involved yeah don't just vote and hmm. then forget about it yeah definitely that is that is what i'm saying hmm. but but we have done uh, last time voted vote, and forget vote, about vote, it voted and we we thought that this fellow will do something hmm. right and we just wait that, that we didn't that, do anything that that is you know uh, 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 ultimate thinking was actually he will you know a little bit of a god complex <laughs> kind of a situation <laughs> so what has happened ultimately so that is same thing will you know uh, happen it again if, hmm. if you are thinking hmm. like that that hmm. is why i always say have a proper system proper plan for proper, proper you know policies what they are going to do hmm. how they are going to you know revival uh, of this uh, economic crisis hmm. and uh, those kind of things are very very important well mr jasir of course uh, during <coughs> the past uh, well at least a few decades here in sri lanka what always happened was uh, whenever a political party comes into power they give concessions to the people because it's a it was usually a contest on who can give more concessions so the people were happy <coughs> they weren't paying too many taxes but now the situation is different although we have political parties coming into power they can't give us as much concessions or continue to hoodwink the people as much as they did in the past because now uh, our uh, cu- or our the issues in our economy have come to the limelight we're a bankrupt nation and uh, like it or not we will have to adhere by certain rules regulations put in place by international organizations because they are the ones who are funding us now because we can't manage our own finances so that will definitely be uh, an incentive for the general public because they are feeling uh, the massive tax burden uh that is that, that of course everybody is experiencing right now uh, that will be an incentive for them to be more involved in politics not just before the election but even after the election into the tenure of any government thank you very much uh, mr jaisekar for joining us on our program uh, this evening thank you very much to all our viewers out there uh, for tuning into another episode of face to face until we meet again take care and god bless